everybody. Here we are. My next guest is a music, music legend. <laughs> music. It's a new thing he's working on called music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing good. You're doing Thanks, good. buddy. Yeah. Uh, he's also never leaned in my shot again. It threw me off for the whole night. Uh, he's also the writer and director of the new film, Greendale, and the Greendale CD is also available at a CD store near you. Please welcome Neil Young. Good to be here, Tony. Was that hat damaged in some way, or no. <laughs> it's just how you're wearing it? Yeah. All my staff had a meeting this afternoon, and they decided this was my look. This was a big corporate decision. Yeah. That this is the new direction that you're yeah. going in. It's very nice. I like Thank it. Thank you. It Thank looks you. very good. We are all obviously thrilled that you're here. It's very well, I'm, cool I'm to have happy you. Happy to be here. We're thrilled that you're here. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Even Ethan is slouching a little less because you're here. <laughs> now, he's sitting up. Yeah, he's behaving himself. Um, you know, I, I, there's so much I want to ask you about, and we only have so much time. But there's one story I've heard. I don't know if it's legend. I don't know if it's true. I heard that you once wrote three amazing songs, uh, Down by the River, Cinnamon Girl, uh, Cowgirl in the Sand. You wrote the three songs in 20 minutes while you had a high fever. Is that true? Well, 20 minutes, I don't know about that, because I, uh, I had a high fever, and I don't know how long it was. <laughs> so it could have been two months, yeah. Been, yeah. It could have been a little longer uh -huh. than that, but I was on a, just sitting on a bed, uh, you know, you know how it is when you're delirious. I'm sure you I'm know. I'm experiencing yeah, that yeah. now, yeah. yeah. I just said you're a music legend, so <laughs> I know. I've been called a lot worse than that. <laughs> But uh, so you weren't feeling well, you're sitting on the edge of the bed and these songs just came out of you. You know, uh, you get to a point, I guess, when you're that sick and I was pretty sick and I just sat up and I started, uh, I picked up my guitar and, and, and it just uh, happened pretty fast. And they were simple songs, you know, mm -hmm. just a couple of chords. So, right. uh, and uh, I think uh, Cinnamon Girl, I had the chord progression already, so that wasn't... Uh, a big deal. Have I you just... tried to get a fever like that since? Have you oh, ever been on it. St st stood out in the rain naked yeah. for a while? Yeah. I need some more songs. I heard you might be a little sick, so. Yeah, I got a little I'm something. I got a little song here right now. Yeah, I'll just sneeze on you. You'll go in another room and then come out with a monster song. Uh, I want to ask you a question. This may seem strange, but what do chickens mean in your life? Because I've noticed that I've looked at your film today, there are shots of chickens in there. I know that you raise chickens. I was backstage, met you just before the show. You started talking about uh, chickens and a chicken farm. What's with chickens? Well, chickens, uh, chickens. you know, when I was a little kid, I, had, I, I used to raise uh, chickens and, and sell eggs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's how I got uh, some of the money that I bought my guitar with. I used to sell golf balls at the, at the golf course, you know. I'd, I'd go out and the guy would hit the ball over the hill and I'd run out and grab the ball and I'd come up and sell it to him. <laughs> <laughs> so I was an enterprising a, kid. Sure, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so uh, and then the chickens though that 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 stayed for a long time. I, and my Did son mean Ben, to you? my son mm -hmm. Ben, mm -hmm. he, he has a chicken farm. Uh, Ben's Coastside Farms. He sells organic eggs, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really cool. Yeah, and uh, you know, he's a big organic egg fan here. Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> they don't get to. That person doesn't get to say woo very often, but. <laughs> Well, what would you like to know about the chickens? Do they mean something to your, have they influenced your music? Have they, is it a drive, do you think about chickens a lot? Well, they're, they're different, you know. Uh, there are many kinds of chickens. Many kinds of chickens. I have red, white, and blue chickens. Wow. Actually, Ben has them, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, I thought about this before I came out. You'll be able to tell, because this is a very succinct answer I'm yeah. going to come up with. Yeah, here. yeah. Okay, I, if I can just remember it now. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's not easy being cool on TV. Did you know that? No, you You're know. talking to the wrong guy about okay. that. <laughs> okay, so... so uh, the biggest nerd on television. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we have uh, independent chickens. Independent chickens. Yeah, they're in the minority. Right. And, uh, and we have liberal chickens. Liberal chickens. They're free range. Free range. They go out. Very nice. I like that. They yeah. go out. And then we have the conservative chickens, of mm -hmm. course, who are in power. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> or running things, uh huh? Yeah, they're they're uh, a hybrid. Yeah, uh, the sex link. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. And uh, they're they're in a little trouble though. Yeah. 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 Uh, they they have some problems. They have mm -hmm. a, they were operating on a big deficit. And uh, <laughs> and they also straying from the chicken no, metaphor a little bit. They have a leader. <laughs> uh huh. That uh, they recently came up with, mm -hmm. and uh, he's very powerful. But uh, his weakness is that before he was made leader, he was never out of the chicken coop. Ah. So the previous leader, who was a liberal, uh, was a free-range leader. It was on the outside. Mingling with outside. other species and other right. chickens exactly. from around the world. Yeah. And a lot, of, a lot of the liberal chickens got, got eaten by wolves because they were so far out, you know, out on the outside. And there's one other thing about it that I, you know, if I can just remember it. Uh, <laughs> There is an enforcer conservative chicken. An enforcer conservative chicken. Yeah, that's, that's how they kept everything under wraps for so long. It's been pretty cool for a few years, and they've been, you know, so it's good. But uh, recently, a calico cat was spotted in the free range area. <laughs> okay, now you've completely lost me. <laughs> the calico cat, I'm stopping it there. Okay. Afterwards, you'll explain who the calico cat is. That's right. uh, let me ask you about the Greendale movie. Yeah. The Greendale movie, uh, this is uh, a movie that you directed, you, the music, I mean, pretty much you've, you've done the whole thing. Uh, it was shot illegally without permits. Uh, How did you know that? Uh, I heard that that was oh, the case. Okay. And I think you almost see yourself get arrested on film at one point. At uh, one point they were trying to arrest me, uh, but they, they weren't really, they were just asking me. Where were you when you were shooting? At the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, That's a high security to, zone. Yeah. They probably saw a guy in a weird hat coming in with a camera. Super 8. <laughs> with a yeah. Super 8 film and they swept in, yeah. I was on the grassy knoll with the Super <laughs> yeah, 8. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And, 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 and it truly there's a little grassy area there by the toll booths and I was filming away and, and uh, uh, the scene was that uh, uh, two of our, our actors were supposed to drive in on a truck and, and just, you know, go through the, go across the bridge. I was just going to do a pan. And sure. It was, it was right. beautiful. The fog was under the bridge and everything. And uh, I couldn't get my tripod to work right. You know, I have a tripod. It's called, my camera's called Stick Boy mm -hmm. because I have a, a very cheap tripod. Mm -hmm. and, it, and I never really opened it up. I didn't realize at first that you could You didn't open realize it. that the tripod it opens up. up. Wow, wow. Yeah. I've heard of not really getting yeah. into the techno lingo, yeah. but not knowing a tripod opens up. It's That's kind pretty of extreme. a lo-fi production. Yeah, okay. But, but uh, so I was having trouble getting things together, and, and I had them on the cell phone saying, wait, 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 don't come yet. And, and uh, finally they said, well, the police are coming. We got to go. You know, we got to go. So I said, well, okay, I'm ready, and I'm holding the camera. And they come out, and they come out in this old pickup truck, and then... But the police are all over them. They're running with their guns out, and they're, oh they're and and they stopped them because they thought it was some kind of a you know they sat sure. there in this truck for a while, yeah, yeah, doing a bunch of stuff and right, waiting right, for no right. reason, blocking traffic, and uh, so the cops came out and uh, the uh, CHP and uh, some uh, the bridge the uh, the uh, uh, terror prevention unit. Uh, whatever they're and called. And when did you walk up and go, hi, I'm Neil Young, I'm no, responsible for this. No, I was standing all there with the camera filming it. Right, right, right. So when they were filming, uh, oh, when, when they were doing this and the actors were getting busted and they were tearing the truck apart and they didn't like our Alaska license plate because it was made out of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> People don't like it when you do that. No, they didn't like that. <laughs> if it's made of cardboard, you could have made it out of any state you want. That's not right. Hawaii, you know. That's we have right. a we have a clip here uh, from uh, from from Greendale, uh, and I don't think this needs setting up either. We're just gonna go for it. I don't think so. It. No. Let's just go for it, man. It's the yeah, edge. I heard it's that kind of a show where you just go for it. We're like just that. going for it. I it's heard called that the Edge. Join me, Neil. I'm Join with you. Me. I'm with you. I hope. Let's take a look at this clip from Greendale. <laughs> Okay. 
the uh, the CD Greendale is in stores now, and the uh, and the movie. The movie Greendale uh, is in select cities. You know, one of the crimes of this kind of show is that I never get to talk to people as long as I want to, and that's never been more true than it is now. I hope you'll come back sometime. Thanks. It's I truly like a huge honor you, to meet Conan. you. Thank you yeah. very much. Neil Young, we'll be right back with Omid Jalili. Stick around. My voice is going fast. All right.